So let's talk about the sum of an AP, the sum of a linear sequence. What is the sum of the first nth term of a linear sequence? Or what is the sum of n terms of a linear sequence? The sum of the first n term of a linear sequence, which is an AP, is given by the formula S sub n is equal to n upon 2, all in brackets, 2a plus n minus 1d, close to bracket. Now, I want to reduce this formula to something else. Check. Sn is equal to n over 2. 2a is the same thing as a plus a, then plus the n minus 1d. Okay. This is n upon 2, all in brackets. Remember the nth term formula for an AP that says u sub n is equal to a plus n minus 1d. That's exactly what I have here. And we said that nth term and last term are the same. So u sub n is equal to this. L, which is last term, is also equal to this. So this formula now can be written as s sub n is equal to n over 2 in bracket a. Plus, in place of everything here, the sum I have here, I will put L. Because last term is equal to what? A plus N minus 1D. So, these two formula work to calculate for the sum of the first N term of a linear sequence. S sub N is the sum of N terms or the sum of the first N terms. N is the number of terms. This must not be confused with the nth term formula. You know, for nth term formula, we said that n is the term number, okay? That is the position of the term. But for sum, n is the number of the terms that we are summing, okay? A remains the first term, D remains the common difference, all right? So let's go ahead and solve the first question that we have. We have to find the sum of the first 12, first 12. That would be S sub 12. S sub 12. So remember, S sub N is equal to N upon 2 in brackets 2A plus N minus 1D. This is the formula to be used. So we are looking for the sum of the first 12 terms. That's S sub 12 is equal to N is 12. 12 all over 2. A is 5. That's 2 times 5. 10. Plus N is what? 12. Minus 1. Times D. What is D? The common difference. 9 minus 5 is 4. 13 minus 9 is 4. 17 minus 13 is 4. The common difference is 4. 12 all over 2 is 6. This is 10. Plus 12 minus 1 is 11. 11 times 4 is 44. So we have 6 times 10 plus 44 is 54. And this is equal to 324. So the sum of the first 12 term of this progression is 324. This question says that the sum of seven terms of an AP is 35. And the common difference is 1.2. We are asked to determine the first term of the series. All right. S sub n, which is sum of n term of a series, is okay they said the sum of seven terms that means n is equal to seven in this case n is seven the common difference is 1.2 d is equal to 1.2 the first term is what we are asked to find and the sum itself which is the sum of seven terms is 35 so S sub 7 is equal to what? 35. So we have S sub 7 
which is equal to 35, is equal to n upon 2. What's n? 7 all over 2 times 2a. a is what we are looking for. So 2a plus n is 7. 7 minus 1 is 6. That will be 6 times the common difference, 1.2. Okay, so I'm working with this. We have 35, which is equal to 7 all over 2. Then 2a plus 6 times 1.2 is 7.2. Good. I want to eliminate this 7 all over 2 from here. A very simple and quick way to do it is to multiply these two sides by the reciprocal of 7 over 2. Since 7 over 2 is a fraction, if we multiply it by 2 over 7, it turns to 1. See so what I'm saying? 35 times 2 all over 7 is equal to 2 all over 7 times everything here. 7 over 2 in bracket 2a plus 7.2. So 2 can cancel to 7 cancel 7. All right, 7 here is 1, 7 here is what? 5. So what we have now says 5 times 2, 10. Everything here is 1. So this bracket can just open easily. 2a plus 7.2. So let's collect like terms now. We have 10 minus 7.2. 7.2 we cross and turn to minus. Equal to what? 2a. 10 minus 7.2 is 2.8, equal to 2a. So dividing both sides by 2, 2 cancel 2, it means that a is equal to 2.8 all over 2, and that's equal to what? 1.4. So the first term of the series is 1.4. We've just applied the sum of n term of an AP formula to determine the first term of a series. Keep watching for more videos. Subscribe, like, and share this video to your friends and to your classmates. I'll see you in the next video.